Hello guys, Nintendo Capri Sun here, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario 2. It is currently, uh, it's like my bedtime right now, but I have to record something because I don't have any videos for tomorrow, which is basically today. And, uh, ooh, come inside the door and be lost in darkness. Oh my god, this could really be Cortez, couldn't it? Um, I was gonna backtrack to pick up some of the stuff, the stuff, the stuff I missed in this chapter bar, but it was a bar. But I decided it was it wasn't really worth, worth, worth going to go all the way back out to, to try and do that. There's too much sailing involved in going over those waves and everything, and I just didn't feel like I'm doing that. So now that I finally got my talking on track, and I'm sitting here just stumbling over my speech, I was kind of doing that on purpose. But anyway, coming to my hacked pork at home. Ooh, it's a plum tornado. Enough. I grow tired of this spooky ooh business. I'm a pirate, blast it! Pirates do not moan. I'm a cold-blooded villain who robs innocents of life and loot, and not a crying ghost. Your head, dude. You have no arms! How can you use your treasure when you have no arms? I can't... Why can't I come up with as good a questions as Luca Jim when you have no arms? Well, I guess so. Gulp. So here we begin the fight with Cortez. Now this fight is a little interesting compared to some of the other boss fights because it basically comes in three stages, each with 20 HP on him. So charging up to do like 30 damage in a single round is not really going to do you that much good, but charging just once? Maybe not a bad idea. I don't even have enough star power to do Earth Tremor, what the hell? Well, where the hell is... There, jeez. You wouldn't think it would be so hard to find, man. I'll have Yoshi do the same thing, since we haven't really shown that. I mean, Yoshi gets plus four because he has three badges equipped. And... No. Nice! You got me good. You got me good there, mister, but now it's time for me to get you. And because of my, uh... badge that I put on with the FP saver, this only costs two FP instead of three. However, please note... <laughs> I'm saying please. Um... If something originally costed 1 FP, it'll still cost 1 FP. It won't go down to 0. And there, that's the first form taken care of right there. Yeah, what you gonna do next, huh? You gonna pull the curtains to change your clothes or whatever? I guess. I don't know. What should we do? It doesn't seem like charging with Mario is even really that much worth it, but I guess I'll do it anyway. I mean, what the hell, maybe this will just be the charge battle, you know? I'm like, CHARGE! If we get up enough for Earth Tremor, then we might need it on the uh, next stage of the fight. So, power bounce again. Actually... We might definitely need it, because... Because I'm running out of FP, that's why. <laughs> I can finish my own sentence. My dad used to do that, like, all the time when we were growing up. And it drove my mom crazy. Like, he would get in the middle of a sentence and he would just stop before he finished it. Like, he would continue it later. Like, I don't know. And I find myself doing that all the time, and it's really weird. It's not annoying or anything, but it's just weird. So, in this case, he's got several special weapons, each of which will attack you individually. Which means you want to get rid of them. And what better way than Earth Tremor to do that, since they all have 5 HP, maybe 4, I don't remember. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's 4. Shit. I put I knew if I put my TV on game mode, I was gonna regret that. So I haven't put it on game mode since I started this LP. And I had a feeling that was gonna bite me in the ass. Here, let's try this. We might just be able to, to eliminate him in one round, but I'm not sure. Well, I don't think so, actually. I don't have enough FP to do that again. Uh, in that case, I'm just gonna normal jump. This does enough damage, I mean, it's six, you know, I can complain about that. Now, if you, you know, and I don't have enough FP to use charge again, because it's going to be four FP, right? Yeah, see, four FP with three badges. So it definitely does, it does seem like it doubles with each badge that you put on. Because it started at one, and then it was two, and then it was four, so. So I assume it would be eight. 
for any level above that. That didn't seriously just win the fight for me, did it? Well, gee. Well, I wish I'd known what that was. I would have just done regular jumps to begin with. And just char. Well, I would have still had to wait the extra turn, though, because Yoshi would have had to charge, so it really doesn't matter. Either way, we did it. Select one to upgrade. Alright. At some point, I probably will upgrade HP and FP more than I have. They're not going to be a 20 for the rest of the game, I don't think. I'm surprised they're still there now, actually. But now, actually, holy cow. We're having a bad tonsil day or something? Done for. No, I'm not! You get to fight me again! No. <laughs> well, technically, I was already dead, but my spirit endures is tied to my treasure. And my beard itches, too, but I can't shave because I'm a skull. I was gonna say skeleton. I used to call skeletons skulls when I was a kid. I didn't know the difference. What? You were not even interested in my treasure? Who? Oh. Oh. Then why are you here? Because I'm interested in your treasure. Just one little piece of it. Oh, that's how it always starts. One piece of it, you know? Then next time you come around, you want a little bit more because you figure, well, you gave me that one, so it wouldn't be any big deal if I gave you two. And then it's three. Next thing you know, we're the U.S. mail. How could you have not really liked that one? That's like the best-looking treasure in here, man. That necklace? You're never gonna wear that. What about all these gems? What, are you gonna get an engagement ring for your nose? And wear it on your nose? Your star power is now six in Mario Learn this mess with Sweet Feast. Yes. End of chapter! And just like that, we finished chapter five. One of the reasons I wanted to backtrack, though, before I started this boss fight was because... Um... <laughs> because now it's gonna take me back out of here, and it's gonna take forever to get back again. That's true. We still wonder... Hmm, yeah, how are we gonna get off this island? <laughs> Never really considered that point, though, did we? We might just be stuck here for the rest of our lives, I don't know. Oh, is he opening the door behind him? Well, that should do it. If you don't need anything else, away with you, amigo. Oh, he called me amigo. That means friend. Aw. And then I heard something my ears could not believe. We actually discovered the legendary treasure of the Pirate King, Cortez. You're not taking any of it. He's He and I are buds now, man. I'm protecting that shit for myself. Can I jump that? I guess. Okay, I guess I can. Okay. Oh, I just came out the butt end of the ship. So whatever, let's save. And sit around here and talk about nothing while we save. The videotape copying is actually going really well. Because I'm on that second box now, and I don't know why I did that. I didn't think it healed me automatically after the fight. Well, I gained a level, that's what happened. But yeah, I just hit a gold mine with these tapes. Like, I came up and there was a bunch of them, like, in the box in the back that I hadn't seen in so long. And most of these ones are shorter, too, which is good. They don't take forever to record. So I can copy, like, two or three of them a day. And they have better stuff on them. More stuff that's worth putting on YouTube, if I would ever do that. Break down the wall. Sounds like one way to get out, I guess. Well, there's a moth in here! Huh. No, no, seriously, there's a moth! Oh. I'm going to follow it, I think. Wait a minute. I know what we have to do. I heard some sound from Earthbound in my head just now. I heard like a wow. Boom! Bobbery, are you okay? I don't see you after that one. <laughs> ha, it worked like I said. Well, me first. Wait, why are you second? You were in the back of the line, dude. Get back in line. You're what whoa, whoa, no, no. Just because you're important characters doesn't mean you get to go next. This is not good for your skin, good lord. See how many toads there really are here. I wouldn't be surprised if someone in the comments went off and slowed down the video and tried to actually find out. Nah, I wouldn't blame you, though. But hey, here we go. And this takes us back outside, back to where this Wackabump guy was. I didn't actually talk to this guy. Wackoo, I'm Wacko! We got some good weather today, right, right? Makes me feel like nothing bad could happen on a day like today. 
Oh, I'm always, that just makes me feel bad. Whack ow! And there we go, we got another one. Just fine and dandy indeed. Well, at least now we have a way to warp to the end of the cave if we needed to. Oh, wait, no, you know, it's gonna let me. It's gonna let me explore, isn't it? Sure is bright today. Hey, in case I don't say it enough, thanks for saving us. Yeah, I know. I'm doing good. I love the salty air. Yeah, I love jumping over you. What? Ha, Mario! Welcome back to you, my stalwart captain. So, have you found the treasure? How's our little expedition faring, hmm? It's quite good, sir. What? The spirit of Cortez was gone in the treasure? And you beat him, but you left all the treasure there? Ah! What were you thinking? Were you trying to be nice? Ah, well, that's what I like about you, I guess. Mm, green Toad looks so clean compared to all of them. Brother! You! What are you doing here? I don't remember this. I came looking for you, brother, all the way to this island. I came looking. But ghosts attacked us and our boat just sank. But I just found you now! Huh? Your boat sank too? So you're all stranded here as well? Yep. Damn it. Well, that freighter should be here by season four, and then we'll just have to figure a way to sneak on board that and hope we don't travel through time in the process of trying to get there. Whoa. Oh no, it's like Swiss Family Robinson. <laughs> How many rounds do we have left? Five. Five. What is that? No, they're firing on us. Who is this? Oh wait, I know who it is. Look at the sails. Pardon me, guys. I mean... Oh, dear. You stubborn asshole. No need for that fake politeness anymore. Good job getting the Crystal Star. Oh, yeah, seriously. Good job getting it for me. Oh, yeah, ain't that good old four eyes? Good old. More like bad old. Hey, four eyes, it's dangerous up there. Yeah. Why'd you blow yourself off in the water? You're clumsy enough. It should happen. What's with this lukewarm reception, huh? Dramatic entrance here. Oh, whatever, I'll spell it out for you, idiots. You may have known me as four eyes, but I'm actually... Oh, the great Dumpinator! Oh, man, did I fool you! I was the mastermind in the shadows running this voyage. It hurts to be this good. Oh. Now, Mario, enough of this. I'm on a schedule here. Hand over the Crystal Star. Because you know what'll happen if you don't. I will shoot these cannonballs right up your ass. And give you hemorrhoids for three years. No, 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 no. Four eyes was a pirate all this time. How could we not have seen it? We should have listened to the guy on the other side of the TV, I guess. Look, we're sailors. We're not much good for anything without a ship to, without a ship to sail. Wait. I have it. I'm a genius. We have a ship in hand, and a fine one, I must say. Mario, take me to Cortez. Yes, my brain remembered what you said. You said that Cortez had a ship. If the legend is true, then we should be unstoppable in that cursed ship. Flavio, what are you talking about? It's crazy! This is Cortez the pirate you're talking about here. Even if Mario did beat him, why would we lend you his ship, huh? Go cream you! Cream you! Hey, I may be a coward and a cad, but I still lead you. I have a dirty to, dirty to protect you. More like dirty underwear. We'll be cannon fodder if we sit and wag our tongues. We must at least try Cortez. I want to hear no complaints. I am your leader, and I will negotiate with this Cortez. Now, Mario, take me to this pirate scum that says just let me go. Stop standing here getting fired on. Oh my god, this is crazy. At least this gives me a chance to go through and pick up the stuff that I missed. Oh, hey, you're gonna stay here. Before I sold us up the river? Yeah, that actually makes sense. I guess he always was a bit fishy. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> Dang it, nose, don't be starting to jump in on it now. He's running. Four Eyes was a bad guy all this time? And I thought he was a pretty straight shooter. Well, you thought wrong! Just like everyone else except for me. I tell you, everyone's dumb but me. Oh no. Well, I might just... Well, if this is going to be happening on the way there, I might just meet you there. But... Aha, we're at the bridge here. And this little thing down here, I was wondering for the longest time how the heck you get this. I never even thought to do the simplest thing, which is to go in between the pieces of bridge. But this uh, ice power badge makes Mario damage-proof when jumping on fire enemies. So indeed, it does exist. And 
Well, who would have thought all this time? I had no idea. Okay, I'm back. This is the place right here. I wanted to go up and sail behind this waterfall. Because I missed something here. And, oh man, now that I think about it, I missed another star piece, too. And, well, where was that? Whoops. Whoops! I pressed the wrong button. Press X instead of Y. A common mistake, as you well know in my GameCube playing history. Let's go check it out. So where was that? It was behind something. And it was, like, really obvious, too, kind of, like... Oh, actually, I know where it is. It's just outside of the door to this cave. Man, that's gonna be a long way to get back out there again. Event plus P, alright. Alright, can't complain about that. So, commence backtracking 2.0. Make our way to the... It's not really that long of a trip, though, so I might just keep talking. Talk about these tapes. Oh my god, these tapes are wonderful. Found this one with just mirror. I'm hoping to find some, like, Water Hands movies or something. Because if there was those, man, if I could put one of those up that we made, man, that would be amazing. The only problem with the one that I have, the one that really, the, like, the best one, is that it has copyrighted music in the background that I used for, like, setting the mood. There's, like, all kinds of songs on there. There's Belfast by Alton John. There's a uh, Walkabout by Red Hot Chili Peppers is in it. So much for the Afterglow by Everclear is in it. Man, what's... Oh, is that the cannonballs hitting the island? Good lord. Stuff is falling apart in here. Man, Cortez, you may be up against more than you think here. It may not just be us that, you're, that we need help, but... Wait, 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 what? How are we gonna get up there? Oh my god, I am the dumbest person. I am the dumbest person. Do you realize what I've just done? Do you realize how long it's going to take to get all the way back out of here? I was supposed to go in the other way by the shortcut that I just made. See you guys back there. Oh my god. Ah, well, I guess the good news is I can come back out here and get this. Since I missed it, there it is. Okay, I'm back. Guys, excuse me for coming through, coming through. We gotta get to this cave and get to Cortez the simple way. The way that I should have gone to begin with. Oh my god. I am so... weird. Took a little damage on the way here. Wouldn't hurt. Well, 17 and 18. Whatever, it's worth it. Coins are no object in this game, let me tell you. So, Flavio, I hope you got some good negotiating skills, because this guy doesn't want to be bothered. Of course, he's going to be bothered whether he likes it or not, now that Lord Dump is here. Ooh! Oh, what? Is it you again? Did you forget something? c c, -c cortez I have to speak to you. C -c could you lend me your sh 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 ship What? What would it possess me to lend you my ship? And who are you, anyway? M -m my name is Flavio. We were in big trouble, and we could really use your ship. We must protect our crew from bad pirates that are blessing us to build, so we just need to borrow your ship for the teensiest little while. What are you talking about, muchacho? I do not rent this ship for pleasure. I do not rent this shit for pleasure cruises. And even if I would lend it to you, this shit is magical, and it cannot move now. The key to powering this shit is the mystical skull gem. Oh, that's convenient. The skull gem? You mean this? You! You have the skull gem! Yes, yes, I do. So, all right, what do you say to this proposition, then? Take the gem handed down through generations of my family and lend us your ship. I think that is a pretty fair deal. Do you not think, Cortez, old friend? Old friend, your ancestors stole that gem from me, you strutting peacock. You must be very brave or very, very foolish to ask such a thing of me. I should turn you into a piñata and throw a party on the beach, you shit-eating cock monkey. Wait a minute. Do not make me have Mario trounce you again. While he fights you, I will throw the stone into the sea where you'll never find it. How would that be? Urgh. Anyway, I'm here with Catherine Hepburn's mom. Tell me, why did you throw the blue heart of the ocean over the railing of the Titanic? Did you feel bad letting Leo DiCaprio drown while you were floating on the big door? Couldn't you have shared? Or taken turns? Anyway. The proposition has been made. I do believe. 
Now my precious black skull will sail the seas again. You sure you don't mean black pearl? I was getting quite annoyed by the sound of cans outside anyway. Now I can really stretch my bones and wreak havoc on the seas like in the old days. Yes! Yeah, you don't mess with the old dead guy, I'll tell you what. Yeah, we got us some help. We got us a monster on our side this time. So how do you pilot this thing anyway? I guess probably we don't want to step outside and find out. Man. It probably... It's a, it's a fixer-upper, but... <laughs> wow, you guys got here quick. Hey, we're coming too! Yeah, I figured. Let's take him. Come on, all for one, guys. Oi! I ain't letting no Flavio Fancy Pants hog the glory. Come on, Captain Stash. Yeah, he's calling me Captain Stash. It's been a millennium since I gazed out upon the sea. Come to the open waters. Oh, yeah. Who do you think you are, Lord Dump? You better get out of here now while you still can, because we are about to mess you up. But we're going to have to wait till next time to see that. Oh, don't you hate this? Oh, I hate it. But yeah. Bye, guys.